I'm Cam Moyland. Two admissions to start off with today. First, I have to admit the title is slightly misleading. The key to writing good action scenes isn't action. What's up with that? Because obviously, if the whole scene is about action, then the action is important. I titled it that because today we're going to be talking about an all-important aspect of action scenes that indeed has nothing to do with action. Second admission, I really, really wanted to title this video using Poe's great line from Kung Fu Panda, enough talk, let's fight. But as apropos as that might be, as you'll see, this isn't about Poe. It's yet another great storytelling example from Jurassic Park. The lesson we're going to be taking away today is about keeping the action tight by first and foremost keeping the narrative tight. By the time we get to our action scenes, we need to make certain that all of our working pieces are in place. The last thing we want to do is bring our attention to a screeching halt in order to explain important elements of the story. What we want to do is either get all that stuff out of the way far earlier or work it seamlessly into the action scene itself. In the always high tension Jurassic Park, we have the third act opening with Ellie Sattler headed out into the wilds of the park to reboot the power system. Now, perhaps it would have made more sense for park owner Mr. Hammond to have explained all of the technicalities of finding and operating the system before she went out. But for the sake of the narrative flow and the overall tension within the scene, the movie made the admirable choice to have him walk her through the process in real time with the raptors breathing down her neck. So the next time you have your characters executing a complicated plan, evaluate whether or not you can keep the pacing tighter by allowing readers to discover that plan in real time instead of having to stop and explain it to them beforehand. 